Good afternoon, this is Ed Pozzuoli, President of Trip Scott, with another series of our webcasts. Today, we have Doug McCaw. Doug is the founder developer of Fat Village. Fat Village standing for Flagola Arts Technology Village, which is an area in Fort Lauderdale which sits between the Florida East Coast Rail Line and Central and Andrews Avenue uh, in and around uh, Cistrunk and Sunrise. So, Doug, welcome. Thank you. Tell us, tell our viewers what exactly Fat Village from a concept is. Fat Village is a creative community. It's an aggregation of art-related businesses and artist studios. Uh, we have um, many different examples of that. We have uh, advertising agencies. Uh, we have a film production studio, uh, sound studio. So really anything related sort of to the arts community. There's a lot of um, aggregation in that business. Uh, those kinds of businesses uh, tend to be very team-centric and work together. Miami has a similar art district, uh, the Wynwood yes, Art District. So yes, it's similar right. to that? Uh, it is similar to Wynwood. It's uh, certainly in its inception was a bit different. We were heavily focused towards technology businesses initially because I have some background in the venture capital business. Right. Wynwood now is rapidly becoming a technology-centric uh, area, but we actually started out with that as a foundation and basis of what we are. So for our viewers, orient them exactly where is the Fat Village or the area that we're trying to establishes Fat Village. Sure. Fat Village is um, actually a designated uh, arts district. Uh, By the in, city? But in the city uh, master plan. And it's, um, it's 6th Street to the north, 4th uh, to the south, northwest 4th uh, to the south, the railroad track to the east, the Florida East Coast Railroad, and Andrews Avenue to the, I'm sorry, Andrews Avenue to the east and Florida East Coast Railroad to the west. Okay. So it's a four block area. So a four block kind of rectangular shaped area. Right. Okay. And what is there now? Uh, we have an aggregation of all sorts of different kinds of businesses. We have about 25 tenants uh, and that can be anything from artist studios, production studios, um, fashion film photography, uh, advertising, graphics design, web design. And so what, what drew you to, the, to that quadrant of the city? Well, it was the uniqueness of the buildings. Uh, the buildings were very historic. The architecture. The architecture. They were very um, rare in South Florida. I mean, if you were in Philadelphia or Washington, New York, Boston, uh, there are a lot of buildings of this uh, caliber, but there's almost none in Fort Lauderdale. So uh, the architectural uh, aspect of what these buildings were, were, we felt worth preserving and, and provide a great environment for, for art. And so what businesses, you know, you mentioned some of the arts uh, and production, some of those businesses, are, are people actually responding and coming to the area for those reasons? Um, goodness, our last art walk, we had more than 3,000 people on the street. Wow. And I, I was just reading the other day in Emerge Americas, their, their goal for attendance for the week was 5,000. So uh, we've been phenomenally successful. Art's a very sticky business. Uh, it tends to aggregate once you have a nucleus. And, and that's been very exciting for us. And you think you've reached the synergy so you have a nucleus that's drawing others to the area? No, there's no question. Uh, we have almost no space. Um, we're sort of at the end of our leasing process uh, right now. We're finishing the last uh, spaces. And I take it from a retail standpoint, cafes and, uh, you know, places, watering holes and stuff like that all sprung up around to support the village? Well, we're at that stage where those things are coming. Uh, we're negotiating right now for a microbrewery in Fat Village. Um, we also will be bringing in um, a, a serious uh, gourmet restaurant. So these are, these are sort of the last anchor pieces to complete the puzzle. So kind speak. of the newest, coolest place to go in Fort Lauderdale. It is very cool, and it certainly has that reputation. And, and we're, um, we're excited that 
Fat Village is really an urban place. Right. And Fort Lauderdale is, is not a city that, that really has a reputation for being urban. So we're sort of a nucleus for that, that whole urban scene developing. And so beside the, the art uh, show that you had, what other events are you planning uh, for the village? Well, there are many events. We have two theaters. Uh, one is a 50-seat black box theater. They have regular productions. Uh, c and Studios, they have events every weekend, barbecues, movie nights, all sorts of things. But what? this is not the typical movie theater that uh, I might go and see the latest runs. What are they? It's uh, Bring Your Pillow, and they have a grill out back, and uh, the beer's cold. And so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And everybody so it's the old traditional it. neighborhood movie theaters. Right. Screen and projector come as you are. Yes, yes. Wow, interesting concept in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. What's the response been from the city and, and uh, the neighborhood? Uh, the city in the last uh, few years has been wonderful. Uh, and that for something like this to be successful, it requires great coordination uh, with the city, certainly in the planning department. Right. Um, the city commission has been extremely supportive. Uh, the mayor has been wonderfully supportive. City manager has been a partner with us. So these things are very important to uh, Fat Village's success. And what are the plans of the future for Fat Village and its revitalization course? Well, uh, certainly it's to finish up with the microbrewery, the right. restaurant. Uh, there's a plan right now for redoing the streetscape that would be National Design Award material if not maybe international. What's We're the hopeful. timing of that, Doug? The surveying is is getting ready to happen for, uh, so, for so the, the design, utilities and everything. Right, so, so the design portion has started, but okay, yes, got it. design portion is in gear. And anything else that you'd see from a, because this is truly a visionary kind of project, and sure. what made you think of doing that? Uh, well, it was... Um, it sort of evolved. Um, you know, again, we've been very active in venture capital. Uh, because art is a very sticky business, there's not a better environment for technology than in an arts district. Right. And we're very excited and want to continue uh, uh, doing this in some other cities and other areas. Well, you know, when I introduced you, uh, I said you were the founder and developer. And, and I think uh, on the... As we close, I'm going to say innovator, revitalizer uh, of a neighborhood and, and really do appreciate it. And I would invite or encourage all of our viewers to uh, check out Fat Village, the coolest, newest place in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, we do have uh, the art walks on the last Saturday of every month. Okay, so the last Saturday of every month, and I'll uh, encourage our viewers to see us there. Great. Thanks, Doug. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you.